Hello everyone. Is your CPAP making so much noise it's keeping you or your bed partner up all night? I'm going to give you five quick tips to remedy the situation. Before we get started, I want to thank you personally for helping us reach that thousand subscriber milestone. Thank you guys. Now without further ado, let's get into it. Of course, any of the tips that are going to be provided in this video, you need to know where that CPAP noise is coming to see which tip is going to help you. Now the first tip is you want to make sure you have a properly fitted mask. To get a mask fitted, you can either have it fitted by a professional that comes out to your house, a respiratory therapist that comes and fits you for the mask, or a polysomnography tech that will fit you and tell you what's the right size for you. If you don't have that option and you're buying online, you can also buy a fit pack that comes with various sizes so you can fit yourself uh, by the manufacturer's guideline that comes in the pack. A properly fitted mask is one of the biggest keys on making sure that your CPAP doesn't make any noise. You want to make sure that that mask fits properly so that there's a perfect seal. Now to jump onto the second tip, second tip actually has something to do with the first tip, which is a properly adjusted mask. First you want to get fitted by a professional or fitted by yourself following the guidelines inside the packet. Then the next step is making sure you're adjusting it properly. Usually the main cause for CPAPs making noise is actually a, a ill-fitting mask, unproperly adjusted. You want to make sure when you adjust your mask, you, you adjust it nice and snug. You don't want it too tight. You don't want it too loose. Now, how do you know the difference between uh, a mask that's too tight and too loose? If it's too tight and it's hurting your face and it's doing any damage to your skin, that's way too tight. On the opposite side, on the too loose, how do you know if it's too loose? Because you want to have it as light as possible so it doesn't bother you at all. But you want to make sure that it's not leaking. A quick tip that I can give you here, this is inside the, the uh, tip number two. You, when you're putting on your mask, to make sure that that mask is properly adjusted, you want to put the mask on, turn your machine on, make sure your ramp setting is turned off. Why do you want your ramp setting turned off? Because you want the pressure at your optimum pressure. When you have the optimum pressure, all you want to do is tug on the front of the mask once you have it on. That'll help you. If you if you tug on it and it leaks out all the air, it's too loose. If you tug on it and it stays on nice and, nice and snug, you're good to go. For those of you that are on an auto CPAP and your start pressure is very low, so you don't know where your optimum pressure might be, or you know your, your optimum pressure is maybe at, at a you know, somewhere in the mid range, 10, 12, and your CPAP starting at four, you still, same train of thought, you wanna put on your mask nice and snug, tug on it, make sure it doesn't leak. If it comes later in the night, you know, two, three hours into your sleep, it's coming it's coming off and it, or it's coming loose and it's leaking all the air, then you wanna adjust it again. Uh, the adjustment takes a few, you know, takes a little bit of practice and a few times playing with it, but you'll get the hang of it. To know more about mask leaks, Click on the link above. The third tip to making sure your CPAP doesn't make too much noise is keeping your machine below ear level. Now, why do you want to keep your machine below ear level? Simple. When you when you have your machine on and you're breathing through your machine, the machine does, you do hear, you're breathing through the machine. So if the machine is at your ear level, it's you're going to be able to hear it more. You want to make sure to have that machine below ear level. Now, I'm not saying to put the machine on the floor or on top of carpet. What I'm trying to say is maybe getting a little step stool and putting it underneath bed level. Like that, you have the, the noise is not gonna be direct to your to your ear. Feel free to take a look at your nightstand and if your nightstand is below the, the bed level and you, your machine is gonna be below the bed level, then you're good to go. Tip number four on keeping that machine quiet. Now, tip number four on keeping the machine quiet is you wanna make sure that you don't put too much water into the machine and you don't set the humidity setting way too high. Now, putting the water in the machine, very simple. All machines have a little guideline where you're gonna fit it to. You always wanna stay below that guideline. So wherever it says the max line, you always wanna try to stay under that max line. If you overfill and you, you go way above that the max line, the machine's gonna start making a bubbling noise and it can uh, um, push water into your tubing. So that can also cause that bubbling noise. Now the humidity setting, you also want to make sure you don't put it too high. If you have dryness and you're increasing the humidity, that's fine. But when you get, if you like sleeping in a room that's very, very cold, or you live in a cold climate, what happens is when the when the 
humidity goes through the tubing, it condensates inside the tubing. We call that rain out. That rain out can also cause that bubbling noise. So what you can do to prevent that is either get a heated hose that's going to prevent the rain out, or you can also uh, buy one of those covers for your CPAP tubing to prevent the rain out. Now, tip number five. Tip number five is actually has nothing to do with the machine. Tip number five, if you've tried everything else and that machine is still making too much noise, you, it bothers you, it wakes up your bed partner, then ear, earplugs is gonna be the best solution for you. Putting some earplugs or ear muffles on, that'll muffle out all the noise. You won't be able to hear the noise. Uh, it does work for some people, it doesn't work for others. Some don't like the silence, but it, in the case where you see that it's bothering you too much, that that noise the machine makes is bothering you and doesn't let you sleep, try a set of earplugs that might work for you now for a bonus tip for all of you that can't handle those earplugs and the machine's still making too much noise then you might want to listen to some white noise white noise helps a variety of patients sleep better at night it's a calm soothing noise uh, a lot of phone applications there's a lot of phone applications that have it there's white noise machines uh, maybe your radio this is something that'll help drown out that CPAP noise if I missed any tips please comment down below. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a beat. Thank you for watching. My name is Ozzy. I'm the respiratory therapist with CityPlay and have a happy snooze.